All right, True Crime Grip Vine fans, it's me, Patty Lee. All right, it is still September 2nd. Now it's almost 10 o'clock at night. Uh, we are moving right along on our cases for this week. Um, this is our 27th episode. It is um, covering August 24th through September 1st, and we are in our caught cases. This is, um, so this person wasn't so much caught as they are getting their just desserts. Why do I say this? So, if you remember the Uvalde shooting in Texas, we're going to need a drink for this one. Still drinking Smirnoff Ice, still patriotic on this Labor Day weekend. It's enough to make you drink, considering this, I was going to say bendejo, uh, this a-hole, this bendejo a-hole, uh, Pete, Air, uh, Arandando, Avandando, Arandando, yeah, Pete, um, Pete, the bendejo. Uh, yeah, the police, he, so he's the police chief of the school district, which I didn't know school districts had police chiefs, but, um, yeah, yeah, Pete, it's kind of, sorry, Pete, just my opinion, you're allegedly a big fat loser. So Pete, Pete was the police chief for the, pol that decided that, like, he wasn't telling anybody to go in. There were, and I kid you freaking not. Uh, the report that looked at the whole incident at Uvalde. Uh, Three hundred and seventy-six officers showed up waiting for someone to direct them, waiting to go in, all ready to go in, and nobody said go in. And I... Still don't know what the heck that guy was thinking, but um, yeah, N let me just tell you, um, the school district, no, no, it had an active shooter uh, protocol. It did. It had a shooter plan, an active shooter plan. You want to know who one of the co-writers was? Oh, yeah, it was Chief Pete. Yeah. Strangely, when questioned, he didn't, he wasn't sure of the, who was in command. He did not know that he was the incident commander. I mean, police chief of the school district might give you a clue, sure. But the fact that he wrote the book, literally, or co-wrote it, but still. I mean, did, but did he? Maybe he didn't really write it. Maybe he's a liar. Uh, I don't know. But Pete, Pete, yeah. He's the chief of police at the school just, or, or he was. Why do I say was? Because that's how he got caught, because he was freaking fired. Amen. It's amazing he ever had the job. He had the job at the school district because he had lost his job at a sheriff's office in, I believe, was it San Antonio? Let me see. He had lost his job. Um, where did he work before? I don't know if it was San Antonio. He had worked at a different sheriff's office in Texas and lost his job because he couldn't get along with others. Yeah, San Antonio Express News said that he was fired in 2014 and he was hired in the school district in 22, 2020. Excuse me. So, um, yeah, two years and helped write an active shooter thing. So it was only, it had to have been within the last two years that he couldn't remember that he was the incident commander and he was unable to pull the trigger and say, get in there. I want to know what he learned in his sheriff's life or because there is information about how police departments around the U.S. were trained 
by the people who were training our soldiers overseas. Are, sh are soldiers overseas, like in Afghanistan, and who went to um, the Gulf Desert War and had to deal with insurgents? So the people who were training our soldiers to treat everybody like the enemy in the community because, you know, anybody could be an insurgent, right? They could send in a child. They could send in a woman. Don't trust anybody. Protect your men. They came over after 9-11 and we had all this extra, like, very heavy stuff. They came into, our, you know, Chicago and Ferguson. Are these sounding familiar to you? I bet they went to San Antonio and they trained police and sheriff. Did they train them to think that the community was like an insurgent and they had to protect their guys first? Like us first, protect your men, your women, your, your, your troops at any cost? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of police act that way. And instead of just saying police are bad, defund the police, which is bullshit, excuse my language, but how about we... You know, like when a kid, or a grown-up even, does something, what do the behavior analysts do? Oh, they look at, well, how were they raised? What were their messages? How were they trained? Like, what messages did they receive over and over and over again? What was their culture? So, what, what if we looked and analyzed, what is the culture of the training in police? And especially when we know there was like this infiltration of these para police group trainers that were also training people overseas dealing with insurgents i don't know because it kind of seems like kind of seems like this guy who couldn't get along with others in his other job at the sheriff's office but was he also having a like he could write a plan where yeah i'm in charge but when push came to shove i wonder if he was in the military was his first initial feeling was we got to protect our guys against the guy, the bad guy like versus there's a bunch of unarmed children save them go in right now instead wait like over an hour before he, and then the border police were the ones who was like after this we're going in well no shit i don't know it's so anyways, they wanted, of course, the community was like, fire him. And they immediately, I think, afterwards suspended him without pay, but didn't, in July, they, um, no, I'm sorry, they suspended him with pay. And then July, the parents, in April, between April and July, everybody was freaked out after the report about the incident came back. And they're like, no, get rid of him. He's horrible. It, he, it's actionable. The superintendent of the school, hey, Hal, 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 God, this is so hard to say. It probably doesn't help that I'm drinking and I'm just like sick. But his name is also not easy. Hal, why would you name your kid Hal? Like, Hal, Harold. Hal, Harold? That sounds like a fake name. Anyways, Hal, uh, what is his name? Harold? Who's, what's the shortening of Hal? It's a horrible name. Don't name your kid Hal, please. Um, Hal, and if it is, don't have a, don't do alliterations with names. Teachers will not like you. Hal Harold, the uh, administrator of the Uvalde School District, yeah, he, he waited two months to recommend, wanted to recommend firing him. Hell, I know you have a dumb name, but come on, dude. That wasn't a hard... How is that for a school board like person? The superintendent is, if you don't know, politically the first position usually anybody gets is before even town council is school council. It, like the school board, being part of the school board. Um, our school boards are not teachers or educators usually. They're usually just people from the community. And then your superintendent, who is supposed to have some education background. But if you have some education background, Hale, didn't you know that guy was a loser? He wrote a plan that said he was in charge and then said, I didn't know I was in charge. Hale, something's wrong there. That's 2 plus 2 equals 5. That's not good math. 
can't you do math, Hale? You are the educator in that system. Anyways, they did get rid of him um, this week. He was fired. And he was working without pay from uh, July until now. But, dude, grow a pair. That's like, a, if you can't even make that decision, you are not up for any sort of leadership role. If you can't go, hey, um, you literally wrote the book, you couldn't carry it out, and multiple, like 12 small people died. Sorry, you are fired. You not only did not do your job, but you did not do it to a point where people lost their lives. Small, little people. Uh, goodbye. I still don't understand that whole situation, and I think we will find out more of what happened at the Rob Elementary School. In the Uvalde School, Dr school District, Hale, I don't know. I hope it has nothing to do with not valuing minorities over... I, I, if that's the case, I mean, it is Texas, but boy, would I be hot. Anyways, oh, but don't worry. Uh, hey, even though he's fired, yeah. Pete wants his job back. He wrote a 17, he and his attorneys wrote a 17 page statement saying how he should be reinstated and get back pay. Pete is a delusional F. Yeah, yeah, R. Pete. Bendejo Pete. Or I forget what your name is. I can't say your name. I guess I'll just have to call you Pete Arbendejo. Is that it? Sounds like it. All right. He's out, we're in, and we're on to our next case, court.